Hi guys, it's Den Mom. Welcome to the Wolfston, or welcome back to the Wolfston. And today, I have kind of like an update type video for the next couple of months. All my videos are going to be pretty much pre-recorded. They won't be like as up to date as I have been like the past couple of weeks. That's because we're moving. You're going to be moving back into John's mom's house because um, this house that we're in now, anytime we turn on the, all the breakers, and like I say, we turn the TV on or the air conditioner on, after about an hour or so, it starts getting, the breakers start getting really hot and they start arcing. So we've got an electrician um, to come out. We've got to get him, we got to get permits and stuff. They're going to put a construction pole with like electrical stuff in it right out there. And we're going to be able to put a line in here so that way the power in the living room and like fridge and this room would all be on like it, don't, like it is now. And they're going to stay out there while they're fixing this um, mess uh, because after he makes it a pole they're going to want to come in and see like test all the receptacles and everything like that and my parents have been living here for about seven or eight years they're pack rats uh, I don't want to describe it any more than that I mean that's why I'm always here because this is the only place in the house that's not like cluttered with like piles of clothes or junk or whatever. So it, it's it's hard because I have a lot of separation anxiety from my mom. And like you know, being able to just go out and go to the grocery store or anything like that, it hurts. I think it'd be a good thing about though because we, I, my dad I know he's stressed out with all of this, and he has anxiety too, but he doesn't take anything for it. And he just gets so ill and so cranky, he doesn't like get physical or anything. But it's just like, some of the things he says aren't necessary. He's one of those people that the blame is never his fault, even if it is. He won't man up and say, oh, I'm sorry, that was my fault, or anything like that. He tries to blame every single my cats, or lazy PC, or me, or a fluffy cat. Because his dogs do no wrong. They don't chew anything. They don't piss on the couch. They don't poop in the middle of the floor when they can't reach the puddle pad. Because when they leave, they put a puddle pad by the door. Um, yeah, so I've been staying in here for a while because I was um, recovering from everything and we, I was supposed to go back out to the TARDIS but now I'm not going to be going back out there. Me and John's mom get along really well. Um, she's very good at taking care of Cody so if we like need date night or something like that she'll be down. Um, we are in the process of transferring him. This is Tuesday the 11th. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are closed because of the hurricane. So if it is, if it hits us, but not like very bad, like Hurricane Joaquin last year, it wasn't a strong hurricane. It just rained so much. The yard literally, when you walked in it, would be up to your calves in water. So that's our only issue is they're all water. I mean, hopefully none of the trees. They have some those really really tall skinny trees across the street. Hopefully none of them will fall this way if they fall. But um. We're going to, we've already called the school board. We had to go to the school here and get sign off a sheet saying they can fax his files, information, because he has um, autism, so he has to go through these IEP testing to see where he at is, um, what needs improvement, and they work on that. So um, this lady, Lynn, is who we've been talking to at the school board. She says once they get all that information in, which should take a couple of days or so um, and get it sorted and overview, overlook at everything. Um, then they can decide which of the three schools that he should go to. The two of them are my elementary school and Lazy and PC's entry school. 
entry school. Elementary school. The third school is the one he used to go to in New Bern, which is where we're moving. Um, but their IEP teachers retired after Cody moved up here because they were going to retire the year before, but they really liked Cody, so they were like, we'll do another year since y'all are going to be moving. So they don't have an IEP teacher anymore. I'm really, really hoping they pick my childhood um, school because I would love to have an excuse to go there and see him. Like, back in the day, the principal was actually like a special, not special needs, but he would take kids that are having trouble with certain subjects and take them in his class for about 30 minutes and help them work on it. Like mine was math and telling time. I didn't learn how to tell time until the fifth grade. Um, because back then we didn't have digital watches. Um, yeah, and he just do that. We just chill out, and if we fin happen to finish everything within the 30 minutes, he'd give us like some M&M, like this one size M&M candies, and let us play. I think it was the original Donkey Kong on the computer. Um, and then he'd walk us back to class, or me, because I was the only one in my class, to go, um, and... Now he's the principal and I am so proud and he remembers me and it's just like, I love that school. I love, miss all the teachers that I had. I actually emailed my fifth grade teacher who's, that's the teacher who had the most impact on me. She's the reason why I'm a crazy cat lady because I used to be all about horses like every other girl. Um, but now it's cats. But yeah, that would be really nice to go, be able to have an excuse to go see the school and tour it and look at the kitchen in the uh, cafeteria just because my mom used to be a cafeteria worker in there so when the school dismissed they were still um, cleaning up from prepping the next day's batch of food and sometimes they would give me those um, rolls the yeast rolls oh, so 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 good um, but yeah I'm, I'm rambling off now so basically, yeah, we've got a bunch of dirty clothes because the washing machine was out of commission for a while. We don't have a dryer, so basically I'm going to bag up all the dirty clothes in separate bags and put a toe tag or like a cadaver tag on them and list whose bag of clothes it is between me, Cody, and John. So the outway, and I'm going to get some um, big Rubbermaid bins, and once they get washed, I fold them, put them in these bins. Put them out in the trailer and go do another batch. I don't know how. I think it might take me a couple of tricks, trips, to do it. Um, but they'll buy all the clothes and the blankets that are coming with this. Be clean and fresh. And I got the Arm and Hammer baking soda detergent, liquid detergent, and just some generic dryer sheets. But plus, it'll help get the cat hair off. Cause that's the one thing I miss about having a dryer is. It does, you can't get the cat hair off, so this will help big time. Um, and once we get there, we won't have a washer and dryer yet, but we are, we'll be looking for one, but they have plenty of laundry mats and stuff to go to, so. But until we get, like, settled in. Um, we got, I got, <laughs> bought our air bed day, day before yesterday. And the trick to those is not getting the one in the homes, like, home goods section. Go to the one and it's in the camping section. They have basically the same model type, except the ones in the hunting section and the camping section are thicker vinyl. Um, usually they have more of a variety of sizes. Um, I got the queen size and it's 24 inches off the ground and it has a built-in pump. But they have some that are a lot cheaper that have you have to get a manual pump for. Um, but I looked at the same bed over in Housewares. And it was $119. I looked at it in Sporting Goods, and it was $78. Which one am I going to pick? The $78 one. Um, I did look up reviews on Amazon for it because $78 is a lot of money spent because we can't find a bed like a used bed or anything that's clean. So once we get some of in, we're going to be going to get a, a, just a full size bed. Also, they, they had said something about cats and dogs, nails, popping it, 
and it does come with repair patches but they did say a lot of people said that they had multiple animals and they've jumped on it with no sheets on it or anything and it's been fine um, one person said to get the king size comforter to put over it so that it falls on the side and it hangs down over all the sides and it kind of protects them while you're not using it um, the first question that was asked was is this bed capable of having sex on it? Oh my gosh. And the answers for that question are hilarious. But, yeah, we got that. So that way we have somebody place to sleep while we're working on getting anything that's not what we need in the room out. Especially in John's old room. All of his dad's old tools are in there. And we don't need them. So we're going to try to get them moved out and put under the house. Because their house is lifted because it's in a flood zone. It's literally right next to a swamp, and I've been there when it's flooded. Before um, they lifted it, the water went about an inch above the like, cement part of the porch. Like I said, before it was lifted, now it's really high off the ground. It's like 20 feet off the ground, so no big deal. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'll be five minutes away from the hospital. Like literally, I can hear the hospital sirens when they come out like if I have to call them like I had to call them for like John's gal and I could hear them coming out of the um, hospital like there's a there's an EMT station right next to the hospital and I could hear it coming all the way there and all the way to our house so we're just a hop skip and jump from there I'll still maintain my doctors and stuff in Greenville um, and my parents are fine with coming down and picking me up and taking me until like John's mom's trying to get a decently used car so we'd have something to drive. But yeah, lots of changes are coming our way. I'm trying to get out more and do some more things and get more active because I can like feel my muscle my, just my muscle just fading away and it's scary because I can sit down like if we went to the aquarium for Cody's birthday went that weekend and I sat on one of the chairs and I wasn't sitting on it for about that long, maybe like five minutes because they had outdoor exhibits and they had the dinosaurs and I was just dripping sweat and I was like, I'm getting dehydrated, I need to go inside. So we sat down and on this, it has a big alligator in the center and then like all around, it's like a bench all the way in the room and like the area right under your butt, like across instead of this way, it was like, like across like that. The next few days were really sore, like I had been beaten with a belt sore, and I just couldn't get comfortable. I don't know what it was, but it's eased up today. I took two muscle relaxers last night instead of just the one, and I think that kind of helped work the kink out. I'll probably try to vlog like some of our move-in processes, like cleaning out the rooms and painting them, because I think I want to do ours like a light period and blue color. Um, it's kind of like Carolina blue, but with a little hint of purple in it. Because I was going to go for a dark royal purple, but I was like, that might attract heat and trap them in. And we don't want that. They have central air and AC, like air, air conditioning and heat, which is like a godsend because, gosh, I've never had a place with central air or um, heat. You've always had to use window units. But. Yeah, just getting that cleaned up, getting it prepped, getting it painted, and then like little by little getting the furniture because I'm going to need two small dressers for our room. Um, I'm bringing my old antique desk. Um, I need like a small vanity with like a couple drawers under it. And then under my vanity, I'm going to have like one of those fold up uh, little crates, fabric crates that have like the sequins on the front of them. I'm going to have one of those for like the makeup that I don't use or I don't use as often. So that way I still have quick access to it if I do tend to, if I wanted to use it. Um, I was also looking into getting those clear organizer things that I've seen like Tati and James Charles use. I'll have to look into doing that if I have enough room. And I'm going to be building a bunch of shelves um, and just attaching them with old brackets and just spray painting them with like base coat of one color and just doing like designs on them and putting my monster high dolls and my Funkos on them 
my Tsum Tsums and my Tsum Tsum plushies, the little tiny ones that I have. Um, we finally will have room to put up the big 55 inch TV I bought three or four years ago. It's been sitting out in the back camper that nobody uses. So, and I'm going to get a PlayStation 4. So I can play Twisted Metal Black and Journey. Because they have it. Cody and John have Xbox. So, Xbox will be going into the bedroom with Cody. So, if John wants to go in there and play it, he can go in there and play it. So, um, I also want to get like a small, like a used school desk for John's room. The one that has the, like, it's square and it has the, the pocket inside of it to hold stuff. Um, I also want to get a little desk similar to that or close, like, like the size of a, like a TV tray, a full out TV tray. Like that size, not too big, that Cody can do his homework on. Or you can, I wanted to get him a laptop for Christmas that he can play with that on. Um, and John can use the, his for like gaming and stuff because it's kind of hard like right now I'm on a bed setup and if I want to play World of Warcraft it's kind of it's a little hard to play because like your mouse will tilt because it's not on an even surface I can't think of anything else the cats and the dog will be coming I've got an outdoor kennel that when I used to breed AKC Huskies um, we built this um, it has three like runs that are eight foot by eight foot, and then they open up to uh, six foot by like tw what's it, 24 foot section that they can run. So we get we have a little kiddie pool, like those plastic ones, for Gatsby to drink water out of or to get in because he's not like a dog that likes to get in the water, but he can drink out of it. And all the the run he's going to use is already bricked in. It has a nice tarp over it. So, and it has a dog house in it, and I think I might just give him a new dog house because it's been sitting out there in the elements for seven or eight years. It's been a while, so, and that way we don't have to worry about him in the house destroying things. The cats are fine, though. Most of them will be on, like, the back porch area. Um, the calm ones will be able to come in the house, and, like, the only ones, like, that come in our room are, like, Greedy and Jelly Bean wants to just sleep all day because they don't want them popping the bed. But I'm gonna have plenty of blankets up there because I have to have a ton of blankets anyway. So, uh, yeah, packing is gonna be a bitch, but we'll get through it because eventually, when they go to put that pole up, they're gonna have to turn the power off here, and you don't know when that's gonna be because they were supposed to send out or get the trees cut down today. But since the hurricane's coming, I don't think they're going to do that because they're trying to prep all their employees and get them ready to ship out to other places if they need help or assistance with electrical problems. Um, because they're based in the Raleigh area, which is about, which is about three and a half hours away. So, but yeah, if you have any questions or tips on moving, because I haven't moved in a while, this was just supposed to be like a temporary thing and I just stayed because I like to like the quiet here, like there's nothing to do, which is kind of, that kind of sucks. But I don't know, you just don't have any nosy neighbors get into your business yet. You are social with everybody, but they're not like constantly eyeballing your house and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Like I said, I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can, and maybe you guys will find it interesting. I don't know, but I hope you do. So, hello, Taylor. What's that big she's gotten? Look at this. Look at this. She's like a good solid eight pounds. Let's see. Hello, Tim. Tim, go. I think she's got some rag doll in her because whenever you sit her up like this, she just kind of stays there. Yeah. 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 Here's my baby. My parents call her the black devil because she gets in a lot of trouble. But you no, know they're going to miss her. And like, comment, subscribe, join the pack. We'd love to have you here. Until next time. Bye, guys.